Hello YouTubers, uh, Digital Rhino back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple but cool looking intro in Sony Vegas Pro 11. So this is the intro that you will be making today. As you can see we have an optical flare effect on the left, and some fog with the starry background. I thought it looks pretty good and professional and simple but good. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Uh, it's really quite simple, I was just messing around in Sony Vegas and I made this. Now two images that you will need is an optical flare image like this. You could just Google search this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you need a starry background. It doesn't really have to be starry, it could be anything, but I, I just liked it like this because I was going for a spacey look. And that's pretty much all. So then you're gonna need to make, uh, what do you call it, six video tracks. So as you can see, you could do this by Central Shift Q. It says it right there. So Central Shift Q. Now we have six video tracks, and we're going to start from bottom to up, so let's do this. We're going to go to Explore and uh, click on our Starry Night image, or another image of your choice. I'm just going to make it this long. Now that we have this right here, we have a nice background. We're going to have to go to Properties, and we're going to have to maintain the aspect ratio, because I'm not sure if you guys can notice this, but... There's uh, solid black lines on the left and the right, so we want to take those out, try to make it widescreen. And there you go, we got that set up. Now, what we're also going to need to do is add ourselves our media generator. So we're going to do our noise, and I use this one for our, I use the blood cell image for our fog. So let's just put this in here. And choose some colors that you would think uh, would be in space. Um, so I'll just make it a really light pinkish color and let's make this just a bit darker like that. That's pretty good. Now you're going to want to go down to offset and click this uh, animate tool button. And now that you have this, you're going to want to drag this all the way to the end and also drag this all the way to the end. Now what this does is that it makes this move like this, as you can see. And this really helps to animate the whole scene because the scene is pretty stationary, and this really does help. Now, what we are gonna need to do is lower the opacity. So to lower the opacity, you just go on top of this, don't, don't click it, not yet at least, until you get the finger. And then you slowly decrease it to as, as much as you want. I'm just gonna go with 18%, that seems right to me. Now, we're gonna go up to our level four. On level 4, we're going to also need to go to our color gradient. And we're going to select the uh, elliptical transparent to black. Oh, we have this. This looks nice and cool, I guess. And then, that's fine. You don't really have to touch that right now. We'll touch it later. And then we're going to go to our layer number 4. On layer number 4, we're going to take our image again and put it back in there and we're also going to need to go to properties and that's the exact same stuff as in the bottom the reason we're doing that is because this elliptical circle thing right over here this this is blacking out everything around here so then if we put this on there this blacks out everything which we don't want which is why we're going to go to our properties and we're going to go to screen so what screen does is that it has the image on the side also but also on the Oops, I think I got it wrong. Ah, let's try dodge. Nope, that's wrong too. <laughs> this is bad. For some reason, it won't source alpha. All right, that's good. So let's see if this does it right. Alright, that was right actually, sorry, I thought I did it wrong for some reason. But what uh, screen does is that it makes this thing pop out only, only our fog, which is good, which is what we want. And right now I'm going to animate the fog to make it smaller so I can tell you guys the difference. So let's just bring it in here like this, make it a bit smaller. But I like to do is make this as big as possible because then it, the fog looks more natural. If I do it in closer, it's not going to be as natural. So, that's good. Now, we are going to go to our number two spot. Number two is our optical flare, which is just an image from Google Images. 
because Sony Vegas cannot run this and yeah. So what you're going to do is again click the compositing mode and go down to add, up to add. And basically this does, it takes away the blackness from the background. Now as you can see, for example if I go to pan cropped over here and I drag this around, you can see that this, uh, this square, you could see this and that really does not look good. So what we can do about this is we can feather it out. We can go down to mask, click the check mark, and we could just uh, select the region that we want masked out. So, uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. just make like a circular thing, something that the flare would naturally do, and just connect it up. Now, as you can see, that it looks like this, and that does not look good. So this is why we are going to feather type in. Now, if we increase the feather, you can see what's happening. It looks more natural. But what I don't like is that this thing is over there, but that's good because we could add a light from the background then. And you can just do this as much as you want. I'm going to go with uh, let's see. 19% looks good because we still want to keep it bright. Um, and yes, so then you could just uh, unclick that and go to position. And now we can move it around. It looks much more natural this way. And we can just keep it right over here because we want our text around this region. So we're done with the optical flare. Now it's time to add our text. So let's just type in. Remember that you could type in anything you want. Digital Rhino. Let's just highlight all this. Now the font I'm going to be using is Alien League. This is a free font that you can probably download by just Googling it. Um, right over here is my font, Alien League. Now I like to have my font smaller in these intros because they look, I don't know, they just look better to me. So I'm just going to go with the 24. 24 looks fine. As you can see, if I go to full resolution, it looks really nice. But I'm going to keep it a preview because I am editing. So we're going to drag this out all the way. And as you can see, if we go through this, there is no right timing. So what we need to do, we need to time everything because, you know, that's what we do. So if we go down to this right over here, we scratch this out a little bit, uh, scratch the last part out a little bit so everything stays together. Now we can, let's say, da, 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 da. let's make our fog come in at about, what is this, milliseconds, I think? No. Three seconds. I don't like that. I want it at two seconds. So let's make our fog come in at full thingy at 2.18 seconds. So let's drag this in at 2.18 seconds. Also our optical flare, 2.18 seconds. Actually, I think I'll just edit this optical flare. So what I did for the optical flare was that I went to video effects and brightness because the optical flare is pretty bright. Now I dragged it over here, so uh, let me just drag it up here, and I went to the animation button again, and in the beginning I put it at zero brightness because I didn't want I did not want it to be able to be seen, as you can see right there on the right side. Now what I did was at like like I said at two seconds, I I bringed in the flare. It's like bam, full speed flare comes in. But then it starts to flicker a bit, so then it lowers down in brightness, then it goes forward, and then it goes back up. Then it goes forward, flickers a bit. I, I, what I'm trying to do is trying to make the light flicker. Uh, in After Effects CS4 and CS5, I'm pretty sure, uh, the optical flares in that have the ability to flicker, which I find really helpful, and they look really professional too. So we're just going to make this flicker. Da, 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 da. We could make it go really down like this, and then come back up at full speed, bam, came back up right away, and then we just have it low, and just bring it in for a finish, it's brighter, and then it's at full. So now if we go back and we look at this, we see that the optical, oops, gotta press play, we see that optical flare comes in like that, it gets brighter and flickers. And that looks really nice. I'm liking the way it's looking so far. 
And also, if you saw the intro at the end, this light turned red, which I kind of liked. I thought it could be like a good finish for it. So what I did, I went to the, I believe the color balance, yes. And then I went down to the image of the optical flare and just dropped it in there. Now what I want to do is increase the red because I want to turn it red. So I click the animate button again, and I bring it over here right to the end. And I just move it a little because I have to make a keyframe there. And then right after that, I turn it full on red. And I really like the way that looked. So let's look at it. If we watch the whole image all the way through, we can see that it's flickering and flickering. It looks pretty cool. And then at the end, it turns red. There you go. Now, it doesn't look exactly the same because uh, I had different settings most likely, but not really, just like a couple of numbers fluctuating. And yes, I guess we're pretty much done, but we have to time everything correctly. So whenever this optical flare comes in, I want... Oh, actually, everything's timed in quite good. It just looks nice. This looks nice. So we are pretty much done. Now, if you don't know how to render, you go to File, Render As, and you just type in the name. Intro, this is 30 frames per second, tut. I'm going to just click render. Now, uh, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed my intro and if this was helpful, <laughs> I enjoyed my intro. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. And thank you for watching. Those are the rhino out.